Mr. Rogers would get in his little old car and he'd drive right over to my dad's real estate office. Now, every now and then, my mother and my sister and I would be in the office with my dad, you know. And uh, so he would see us in there. Now, like to us, he wasn't anybody, that, you know, that was any different than any other customer that came into the real estate office. So we were very good girls. And so, you know, we would, uh, well, hello. And we knew it was Mr. Rogers. We'd find out that not the Mr. Rogers, he was just Mr. Rogers. And, uh, you know, I, I can remember her saying, oh, uh, hello, Mr. Rogers. And he looked, yeah, what's that little squeak, but, you know. And, uh, and he said, hello, you know. Anyway, and then uh, he finally said, my dad one day, while they were out looking at the property, he says, Fred, why haven't you taken, <coughs> excuse me, those girls over to the studio? Now, that, that's what he, you know, everybody called Halbrook Studio was the studio, mm -hmm. because the other studios were not anything. Everybody, Harold Lloyd was there, Laurel and Hardy was there, the Argane was there, mm -hmm. The Keystone Cops were there, and all of those, Snub Pollard was there, and uh, do any of these names mean anything to you? Yes, well, key, uh, the Keystone Cops actually was with Max Sennett. Yes, I know they were, but did I say Keystone Cops? Yeah. Uh, well, well, we had a group of cops that were in Howard Road's duty, and I don't know what they were called. Okay, you know, I, yeah, all right. You know, I really don't think oh, okay. remember, but we had cops that remember oh. that they would run a, oh. after the Laurel and Hardy, and they would, you know, okay. all of that run after we kids in the mm -hmm. gang, and mm -hmm. they were cops. Um, I don't know why I, I, that name came to my attention. I have photos with um, him and Charlie Chase uh, with uh, Fay Ray. At, these, the girls they had that they called, uh, they were in Hal Roach, uh, they were very popular, a group of starlets. They had a name on them, so if you Google sometimes somewhere and find out like what, uh, Hal Roach, what, what the girls were, but they had a name like something, like the, they don't bathing beauties, okay. but, you know, something like that. Okay. But anyway, Fay Ray is sitting in the back seat that's kind of interesting. Huh? Uh huh. And uh, so anyway, that's how. Uh, now I. It, this is very strange. You won't believe this, because I mean I've been in so long. I just lived this life for so long. Um, I never thought about it. About like, uh, I knew we went to Hal Roach Studio. Okay, and then. People started always asking me, "Were folks in the music uh, in the in the movie business?" Uh, they were always asking, and I'd say no. And then they they say, "Well, how did you get into the movies?" And I was, you know start to think about it, and I said, "Well, uh, Mr. Rogers told my get dad to take us over there that we were." should go over. I, I, I was being, that, that little demure modest, I was being modest because he said, your kids are cuter than any I've seen over there, he said. So, <laughs> I, I don't know if he was just being nice, but anyway, so, but that's how that happened. And I would just say Mr. Rogers, I didn't say Will Rogers, mm -hmm. Mr. Rogers told my dad to take over there. And as the time went on, I, I when I was about 60 or something, I said, it was Will Rogers who discovered us. <laughs> I honestly did not know that Will Rogers discovered me <laughs> and my sister. And I said that backwards, my sister and I. And I absolutely started thinking how wonderful that was. I mean, you know, because Will Rogers was a pretty important American. Oh, yes. And to have that happen, not just Mr. <laughs> Rogers, so let's go over there, you know, that could have been <laughs> Mr. Rogers, I mean, although we didn't have TV yet at that time, you know. 
So I'll shut up now so you can talk to me. Oh, that's that's a great story. Isn't it?